What's up everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to take a drawing you made on paper and turn it into a clean digital vector design using Kittle. Whether you're designing t-shirts, stickers or digital art, this method is simple and beginner friendly. Let's get started. Alright, let's start by drawing a simple sketch. I'm keeping this one very basic, not because I think you'll fall behind, but honestly because my art skills aren't exactly that good. Anyways, here are a couple quick tips that make a big difference if you're planning to digitize your drawing. First, use a decent paper. It doesn't have to be a fancy or expensive, but the wider and smoother, the better. It'll help with contracts when we scan or photograph it later. Second, trace over your lines to make them bold and dark. Clean outlines are the key when you're vectorizing. It helps the software pick up your shapes more accurately. Now, to make this video even more meaningful, I want to honor someone very special to our family, and that's my sister-in-law, who passed away last year. Honestly, she's one of the most talented artists I have ever known. She left behind some amazing drawings, and today, I'm going to bring one of them to life. But here's the twist, we're not just vectorizing it, nope, we're going even deeper. I don't want to spoil the surprise yet, but stick around. Because I know you're gonna love it. Alright, so there are two main ways to get your drawing onto your computer. First, the easy way is just snap a clear photo with your phone. This works perfectly fine for simple sketches, like the one we just did. But if you're working on something more detailed or complex, I highly recommend using a scanner. Trust me, the results are way cleaner and it's super affordable, like under a dollar if you're using a public library or a print shop. Alright, let's upload our image. And this is how it looks. This is called a raster image or a JPEG. It's the same thing, both. You can see. Now we're gonna duplicate this just so we can come back so we, we can see the difference. The first thing you wanna do to this image, you wanna crop it. Just to delete all those extra spaces that we don't need. Boom. Now next, we wanna remove the background. Now, some people like it like this, and this is fine. Let me show you. Let's put a, let's put a red. Let's make it big. Now let's send it to the back. As you can see, some pe if you're gonna print this on like on a white t-shirt or anything, it's gonna look okay. But if it's gonna be on a red or something, this is how it's gonna look. But we remove the background and we crop the image. So some people are fine with this. Not me. Now, if you don't do the steps that we just did, then you won't, you won't be able to do much. You will have a big old square, big old rectangle, just like this. So just these two steps make a big difference. But we're still not done. We still got a lot to do. All right, let's delete that. Now, we're gonna vectorize this image. So right here to the right, you put vectorize and we're only gonna pick one color. Boom. In a matter of seconds, that image is going to be vectorized. Boom. Now I'm going to show you the benefits of vectorizing an image. You see? This is how it looks. And it looks more clear. The lines are more sharper. Let's put it side to side just so you guys can have an idea. Boom. You can notice the difference. The benefits of having a, a vector uh, design is that you can make it so small or so big and the shape stays the same. Now with the other image, if you extend you, if you extend this design or if you zoom in more, it gets more pixelated. So let's say you want to do a sticker or a banner, you're going to have to extend that design which is going to make it look more pixelated which is not going to look professional. Let's go back over here because we're still not done. Now let me show you another benefits of uh, vectorizing your image. Now let's say... Um, you want to clean up some stuff here, right? You, uh, Kiro just came out with this pen tool, which is super helpful. Let's say you want to clear some stuff up here. Boom, you see? You want to make sure this line is a little straighter. You can eliminate uh, some points, and it helps. All right? Another thing you can do, another thing you can do with this uh, image, you can change the colors. You see, you can change the colors, any color you want. Over here, shade blue, red, whatever. Now, let's say you want this design a little bit thicker. You can add a little bit of border to it. You see 
how it looks a little bit more thicker and more uh you can use it for more stuff now obviously you can control the border you can go up you can go down you can go crazy and we're still not done we still got more to do let's go back over here all right now Kiddo has you can do so many more things with this right this is just one way of vectorizing a design that you drew on paper you can also add a shadow everything depends on on your style i'm gonna delete the shadow for now that's not the focus right now so let's say you want to add a little bit of color once again we go to this pen tool right this is uh something new that kiddo came up with that it's super helpful all right now we're gonna add some color to the window boom 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 you connect the dots boom so you got a full square now you grab that square and you add a little bit of color to it. Let's say uh, yellow, yellow. Oh, let me delete this. And you send it to the back, boom. Now let's say you want the, the yellow separated, right? So let me show you. You grab all of these together and you go up here where it says subtract and it's gonna subtract, boom. Now you can delete the border and you got the yellow here. Now you got to bring the house back over here and just align it. Align it and boom. There you go. You got the house there. You can also do the same thing up here. Grab this uh, pen tool. Boom, boom, boom. And just add color. Uh, you want to add, I don't know, like brown. Me personally, I like to send these back. It just makes everything simple. I don't have to do all that cutting. But it, everything depends on what you want to do, to be honest. There we go. Boom. House with color. And let's say you want to screen print. You can separate everything. You know, you see? You got everything separated. Or you want to do vinyl or whatever. Everything is separated. Everything is vectorized, ready to get cut up or uh, for screen printing. Let's go back, boom, boom, and that's it. That's, this is a, a, for a simple design. Now, there's another way still to do it, all right? Let's, uh, let me show you. It's another way, let's open up another one. Let's duplicate this, and let's delete this right here. Let's delete this. Another benefit of having the pen tool in my opinion, if you're a good artist, obviously the more time that you use the pen, the better that you get at it, is that you can free, free draw. For example, let's try to draw that house. And just with control C, if something comes out wrong, you can start all over again. It's like pressing a backspace. Control C, you see, boom. No, I don't like the door. The door don't like me. Boom. Now we can do the window. This is just an example. My, my skills are not that good. It just, it's just so many things that you can do. This is just a simple way to bring the image to life. You have the, your regular design from paper, your drawing. Then you have your vector image and you can add a color, you can adjust the shapes, you could uh, clean the lines, make it look a, a bit smoother. And then you could also do everything from scratch here in Kittle. You see these different steps for a very simple design. Hopefully this makes any sense and it should. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's another thing that you can do with the pen tool, which is my favorite thing to do. And it's called tracing. You can trace your design from scratch. Boom. Boom. And let's say, by the way, you could color it. Color it black. You could trace this whole thing. If you hold, if you hold on, the, on your right, 
on your mouse with the right, you're able to do uh, not just straight lines, but you're able to do curved lines. You see? And to go back to the straight line, all you got to do is just click right here, and you go back to the straight lines. See? And that's it. If you want to finish the design there, all you got to do is click back on the move, and boom, you're good. Tracing is probably the best option when you're doing a very complex design because the vector software won't grab all those little small details. So you're going to have to jump in here and do a bunch of tracing. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with the detail design. And the first thing we're going to do right away, we're going to crop it. Just to kill all those extra space. We're going to do the same steps. Now, Let's remove the background. Sometimes with a very detailed design like this, it doesn't always remove the background exactly how you want it. But this one, it did it perfectly. But you won't get lucky with, all, with every design. Now, let's see if we can vectorize it, right? Let's pick one color. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do good. Yep, you see? It's still okay if that's what you're going for, but it killed all the detail, all the shades, everything. So we're going to go back. Boom. Now let's see if we can vectorize it with two colors. Two colors. Let's see how it's going to look. And no, this is not what we're going for. So now the only option that we have is to trace this design manually. So now... We're going to have to go trace it manually. And once again, we're going to go to the pen tool. I'm going to grab the pen tool, and we start tracing. This definitely took a lot longer than I expected. That's why I had to stop recording for a bit, but we got it done. And just know, people literally go to school for stuff like this. Graphic designing is a beautiful skill, but it takes a lot of time, a lot of real time, and a lot of practice to master this. That's actually one of the biggest reasons why I love using Kittle. They take something so complex and make it much easier and more approachable for people like me who are not trained graphic designers. Anyways, moment of truth, let me show you the final results. All right, so right here is our actual drawing, the actual sketch, and right next to it is the vector design. Two colored print, we got black and we got gray. Gray has the different types of shades, but it's still gray. Pretty awesome, right? Just look at the difference. And this is something very simple, very basic. Now, if you wanna go a little bit more beyond, boom, you can add a little bit of color and maybe add a little bit of texture to the design and just look at the difference. We went from a simple sketch drawing on paper to a beautiful print and we're still not done. We could bring that print to real life. We could actually make it more realistic if that makes any sense. Just look at the beauty. Just look at the beauty of this design. Sheesh, look at the moon. Look at the moon, look at the thunder. Look at all this texture. And all this, you can create right here in Kittle. For example, let me show you an easy way to get like a realistic moon. We go to, to the, this little icon. There's a bunch of different illustrations. And we're going to type moon. Moon. And just look at all these moons that you have right here. You know what's a beautiful part? A lot of these moons are already vectorized. So if you're going to screen print or you're going to do vinyl, you can easy cut it or you could color separate it when it comes to screen printing. Man, it, it, it just makes things easier. Just look at all these moons. And it keeps going, and it keeps going. And the same thing for the thunder, for, for, for different stuff. For example, this texture. So many different textures. Look at all these textures. So many things that you can do. You just gotta be very creative. Now, let me show you how this is gonna look on a mock-up. Let's uh, push here. Mock-up, mock-up, let me show you. This is another great tool that Kittle has that, that I actually love and use. 
just so I can have an idea how the design is going to look. Just look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. And of course, you can change the color of the t-shirt so you can see how it's going to look on different t-shirts. You can uh, grab uh, these bags right here. Pretty awesome. Once again, you could also change the color of these bags, different color bags. You could do a clipboard, you could do phones, you could make it digital. Oh, you can do so many stuff. You can do so many stuff. Tote bags. Look at these tote bags. Look at these this beauty. And if you're doing it for yourself and you want to promote, you could you could easily download these mockups and use them in your social media outlets to promote your brand. Or if it's for a customer, you could download it and the same thing, just send it to your customer so they can have an idea how it's gonna look. You can do postcards. Oh, and I'm just touching the surface. You guys got to come check out this website. All right, let's go back. And I did the same thing with the house. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let's go back. Oh, kill the surprise. So right here is the sketch, the actual drawing that I did. Then this is the design vectorized. And I right here, I did everything from scratch here in Kittle. But then I added, I grabbed some stuff from over here from the icon from the from the things over here on Kittle the illustration uh, icon and you know something very simple and over here I got a more realistic image that I also did in Kittle I wish I can show you guys everything but this video will be so long I, but I do have other videos that that show you the tools in here and, it, and it's really that simple guys it's really that simple it just takes a little bit of practice so you can get the, the, the feel of everything. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And you guys know the awesome part about all of this, that you could try it for free. Yes, Kittle, you could try it for free. They have a free version. I'm gonna add the link in the bio. Obviously, things are gonna be limited, but if you upgrade to the pro version, it's still affordable. It's only like $10 a month. No, I'm not selling this uh, software, but I use it every day. So I do highly recommend it. Once again, Hopefully that this video was helpful in any way. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day and God bless you all.